welcome to another video, another tarot. I took a break yesterday because it was a travel day and then I was just tired, so no worries, right? Um, this isn't changing on anyone's life, <laughs> saving anyone's life. So um, today I believe Mercury officially stations retrograde. We all love a good Mercury retrograde. It's almost like it's coming in to give a little assist to Venus over here at the end of its retro grade, little alley-oop. So if things feel turbulent and intense, um, there's a reason for that. Um, if you're paying attention to it and not repressing things and sort of working through it, there, I, I do believe there'll be a little gift on the other end. So. Um, take heart in that. Let's maybe get some advice on how to deal with this period. And then I want to do something different well, where I will pull three cards for each zodiac sign as um, some more, a little bit more specific advice. Okay? All right. Using the moonology here. Balsamic moon, a time for healing. Yup, we know that. You are good enough. Full moon Virgo, this is coming up a lot. Bring love into the situation. New moon Aquarius. So, Mercury is in Aquarius. The, the, start, the start of this and, and half of it or something like that, um, Mercury is stationed in Aquarius until it goes to Capricorn Earth sign, which is also Virgo here. So, interesting. A time for healing. You are good enough. Bring love into the situation. I just got this card, the new moon Virgo. And yet I still I've been I've been having a lot of um, for me personally things come up where I'm you know I learn these by some so partially by memorizing the meanings of the cards and then the other part of it is um, relying on personal associations of how I interpret or, or understand things intuitive reading and so I, it's I've been messing up a lot. I've been like confusing cards within these decks. So for that reason, I am going to read just a little bit. Um, you are good enough, full moon Virgo. Find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your daily life. Worrying too much will attract more things to worry about. Have you been overly critical? An apology may be in order. Stop second guessing yourself and raise your karma by doing something good for someone else. Yep. And this new moon Libra, uh, bring love into the situation, I do believe that's about seeing something from another perspective. Yeah, you need to be more detached from the situation. Thinking outside the box will bring the solution. More pragmatism is called for. Improve your karma by doing some charitable work. Look at that. Raise your karma by doing something good for someone else. Interesting. So there's, there, the, there's a, definitely a recommendation here by the universe to... Um, do something nice for somebody else. Explore the idea that it's not what you know, but whom you know. Aquarius energy has an electric feel to it. Certainly, there's a sense that you need to let go of the past and move towards your future as soon as possible. You may need to do things independently. Be loving, but not too pragmatic. No looking back. Change is on its way and it can come quickly. So are you being too picky or are you underrating yourself? There, there could be two options here. You might be healing a situation th that you've been overly critical within. You might be sort of seeing another side to it now. 
or if you've been underselling yourself not not totally believing in your own abilities or, or in your own worth or in something that you you've been doubting that you can achieve something that perspective is what needs to be healed so that you can move on retrograde vibes for sure Have you been too picky or underrating yourself? Either way. All right, let's get into the signs. How should I do this? Should I do this by elements, elementals, or should I do this in the order of the zodiac? Let's do it by, by the elements. I'll start with Earth, and I'll start with Capricorn, because that's where we're at right now. This is very simple, just do some three card reads. Okay, here's, here's Capricorn. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Devil, five of Wands. So first of all, the Devil, Capricorn shows up in Cap, congratulations. That means that Capricorns might be feeling um, in their essence, um, which makes sense because we're in Capricorn season. So this is a um, this is a time when you do feel more aligned with your your true north, your 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 sort of your purpose. As well as I think that Capricorns might have. This tells me that Capricorns might have an easier time with the retrograde or something like that because you understand um, the maybe the source of your. Um, I think you understand the dissonance, whatever it is that you're feeling. You're you're understanding this as like other people's bullshit or other people's um, sort of opinions or some some sort of external conflict. You're understanding it as external and not within yourself, or you're able to. Rather, you're able to distinguish between the two, which is, which means that you can see yourself a little bit better here, and now you're able to address um, any lack of confidence that's getting in the way of um, nurturing what it is you want um, next. All right. That's Capricorn. Virgo. Let's do Taurus next. That's in order of operations. Taurus. Nine of Wands. Four of Wands. Nine of Swords in reverse. Well, Taurus, you know, you're the loyal sign here, and in the center we have the Four of Wands. So Taurus is, you stubbornly, I don't know, stubbornly, you do have a tendency to persevere toward, toward loyalty, persevere towards commitment. And what I'm seeing here is that your, your tendencies here are, are apparent, right? Your tendency, this pattern, this tendency is apparent. But the struggle here, and maybe the thing that's coming up for you in the retrograde, is realizing when that is actually causing you some harm. <clears throat> There's two nines here. So it's almost like you're, you're very close to realizing why, why maybe this sort of um, either burnout or this kind of like worry is happening. Remember the full moon Virgo said worrying too worrying too much brings more things to worry about. So um, I get the sense Taurus might be overcompensating for something because of some worry. 
Um, I think that this is what needs to be healed. You might be underselling yourself and your own ability to have a, your own stable structure. You know, um, you might be overcommitting to something else that's actually causing you to worry because you're not maybe seeing some return on that. All right, that's Taurus. <sighs> Virgo. Hmm. Five of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Three of Wands reverse. Virgo. It is like Virgo to always to, to be sort of focused on sort there's like this ambitious quality here. Cause what I see is the desire for growth, but it's sort of stagnating because of some fear. Some lack mentality is causing either confusion or some fear to show up and it's making it so that you're unable to move forward right now. So um, yeah, ooh, look at that, that just sort of fell out. The Three of Cups. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like for you, there is this bring love into the situation advice from the Moonology, time for healing, so, um, you might need to look at this from another perspective. You're not seeing something clearly. And there's something to celebrate here, and yet you're you're worried. You're worried about it. Um, so challenge your perspective. Challenge your perspective on something because you might not be seeing something for what it is. All right, let's move on to uh, fire, Aries. you like this there's something for everybody when I when, when we do sort of all zodiac right I like it I like these quickie reads too Aries 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 eight of swords in reverse the world in reverse wheel of fortune in reverse Hmm. Aries. You know, there's something possibly that needs to be left in the past and it's just does it this this feels like some something is just faded for you to um for you to go through some sort of low period here what signs do we have on this well see both of these have a lot of zodiac signs on them what are they leo taurus who are these signs it's almost like Air Aries of course wants something to happen um, quickly they're like why aren't I there yet and so you um you you have you almost have the sense of like you're being held back um, and you know there's resistance to that wanting to either finish out some sort of cycle, not really wanting to accept that energy is sort of cyclical and it does, it could feel like sometimes things aren't moving as quickly as, as we want. So Aries, um, I, 
look at the bigger picture here. I feel like there's something else you could be doing with your time. It's a time for healing. So um, really look into your own propensities for why you want things. Um, hmm. There might be something that you're ignoring as well. That, that might be a reason for your wanting to rush ahead or something because something isn't finished here. Something, something isn't finished here. Maybe there's something you need to close out during this cycle. Oh. No clarifications today, folks. Just, just taking the messages as they come and that's that. Let's do Leo. Leo, Leo. Page of Wands in reverse. Three of Pentacles and the Sun. Ooh. So, Leo. Leo, you are, you're supposed to take some idea that you have some, so you have, you might have some idea here for, for a potential. And I think to make it real, you need to sort of share this with somebody else. Somebody here wants to hear what you have to say. Uh, and it should bring out, bring up a lot of positivity. Look at the sun. The sun here is a positive card. I just realized that the sun card has like this weird black thing on top of its head. It almost looks like a scorpion, scorpion tail or stinger or something. It's so weird. Hmm. There's something about um, an idea needing to get outside of you in order for it to grow, for it to be celebrated, for it to be seen. Also, the sun is Leo. Leo, you're having a really, I think you're having a really good time of this Mercury compared to some other signs. So just know that. You might, <laughs> you might, you might not be struggling quite as much here, but there is some, there is a message here of like needing to ground your ideas in reality. And sometimes all that it, all that it requires for something to become real is for it to come outside of you or for to, um, share your ideas with other people so that other people can also start to share in some idea. Right. And then there, now there's like collaborative effort moving forward. That's for Leo. Move on to Sagittarius. Sag. Queen of Swords underneath. The Chariot. And the Three of Swords reversed. Sorry. The chariot is also reversed. Queen of Swords, the chariot, and the Three of Swords reversed. Yep. I'm really strongly getting that for Sagittarius, the thing that needs to be healed is maybe some sort of propensity here to this is weird. Sagittarius are usually like really open, sort of philosophical, like wonderful thinkers here of the Zodiac. And what I'm really strongly getting is that you're really closed off to something when really what you want is to move forward. You're sort of closing yourself off. This reminds me of a recent reading of like, when, when have we built shackles to resemble freedom or something like that? So if you're self-isolating or becoming very cold or um, not really putting up good boundaries um, that prevent you from moving forward. That, that could be a challenge when really when what you really want is to move beyond some sort of painful situation for yourself. 
This might be some like heart chakra healing stuff here for Sag. Hmm. Who's next? We got air. Let's do air. Gemini. The deck's getting smaller. Gemini, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands. What? Gemini, you are having a oh, riot. <laughs> mm. Gemini's feeling really confident right now. There might be a new opportunity in love. There's definitely um, some sort of adventurous spirit that Gemini is embodying right now. So um, you have the potential to inspire a lot of people right now. Gemini, um, roll with it. Roll with it because this might be this might your your luck here might be changing very very quickly. Um, or not not change not I don't want to say your luck is changing because I just give you a positive read and I don't see anything bad happening. I just mean like a something might come into manifestation very, very quickly here if you stay in this sort of Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands sort of mentality. The Queen of Wands is also extremely brave, okay? So if things feel like they're changing and everything new feels a little bit different and like, ooh, I don't know, um, trust that. Trust that that is happening for you. And it's going to be something really great. Okay. Um, who do we have next? Aquarius. Let's do Libra, actually. Libra. What do we got for Libra? The Tower in Reverse. Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles is in reverse as well. So, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra always wants some sort of balance, right? I learned this about Libras recently. That they're the sign of balance, but it's not because they are always so balanced and can see every, every side of the situation, but instead it means they strive toward balance and they... They're also sort of at the extremes of it sometimes. And so knowing this about yourself, Libra, I see here that some disaster, some disaster has been avoided because of your own lingering resentments around a situation. And now you're not seeing the situation as something that can bring you some stability here. Um, it's almost like you've given up on something because of your expectations not turning out the way that they are. So you're sort of retreating and so interesting that's a choice um i think for you during this retrograde um libra needs to find that which empowers them okay because the, the the purpose is to not to be in this five of cups energy which is disappointment or a lack mentality that's how we turn um, pos potential opportunities into something that won't really um, result in anything because of our own energy that we're putting into it, okay? So what can you do, Libra, to empower yourself? Maybe look at the bigger picture. How are you really balancing this stuff for yourself? Aquarius. Aquarius. Mm, the Four of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Aquarius, you know, um, f 
for Aquarius, I do believe there's some additional work to be done around the question of what do you value because I think you if you've worked really hard to accumulate some sort of wealth some sort of prosperity for yourself now it might start to feel suddenly like it's too much so lessen your load here um, and for everything for every part in your life you might want to ask is this really what I want and or is this really is this enriching my life somehow or is it okay to let this go and the energy that surrounds this sort of releases the Knight of Swords, which is this this is movement and this is happening very quickly. You might be you might be making some sort of quick decisions around this. Um, but don't don't use that as an excuse to to make impulse decisions about what it is you're releasing. Just know that that's the energy sort of that's here. So maybe catch yourself before you start making really um hasty decisions like when you make a decision make sure that it's um that, that you've actually thought about it some okay that's all that's all i'm trying to say um let's move on to water now we have cancer let's do cancer Eight of Wands in reverse. Finally, that's the card that's been showing up on the bottom of the deck that I've seen forever while I was doing this. And it came out. Okay. Cancer, King of Cups, and the Fool in reverse. Cancer, I feel like you're using this Mercury retrograde <laughs> um, to prepare yourself somehow. Like the the eight of eight of wands is about something stagnating, something um, not really coming in as quickly as we want. But you're using this time to sort of get really set in your emotions. The King of Cups, he he understands himself so well. He is unshakable by any storm. So I really feel like Cancer here is fortifying themselves, so that when something new comes, they're they're not going to be distracted and they're not going to be. Um, making any naive mistakes here. That's what they're trying to avoid. Um, it's also possible that maybe in this desire to not be distracted or make any mistakes, you yourself might be holding yourself back. It's either could be you or it could be just the energy that's available to cancer or how they're or the tendency for cancer to use this energy in this way. This is, this is about some sort of emotional fortification, though, and understanding one's intentions and emotions. Uh, let's go to Scorpio. All right, this deck is getting really light. Scorpio, who do we have? The Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, judgment, self-assessment, awareness. Interesting. <laughs> it's almost like Scorpio's like, oh, I want this in love, and I want this in life, and I want, this is the kind of work I'm trying to do, and, and Mercury Retrograde might, might make you feel as if, like, all of those walls are up. If it feels like you're not able to make any practical action here, it's um, it's really just trying to show you where maybe you have been either expecting too much or or have been overly romantic, overly in your heart. What I what I don't so there's pentacles in the cups here, the knights. What I don't see here is this a sword or any sort of logic here, and that's why maybe judgment is showing up to show you. Hey, look at your own part in this. If you're wanting to move something forward, how are you going about doing it? So this is how, this is the work for Scorpio this time. Um, healing maybe some sort of expectations here. Um, maybe you need to see something from a new perspective as well. Some sort of higher perspective instead of just directly what's in front of you. You might be 
Scorpios might be cha needing to change how they've been doing things for a while or something like that. Try a different method. And last but not least, Pisces, right? This is the end of our readings. Pisces. Six of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Interesting. Pisces, I don't know if you're, you're, um, You might be struggling right now with understanding why it's maybe you're not able to get people to see eye to eye with you. You might, I think you have an idea for something here of, of a way, either, either a method or a prospect, if you will. Um, but it's, there's resistance here to like, either other people don't understand what you're trying to do. Um, I think there's a caution here of, um, you know, um, pushing forward at all costs, uh, you know, like you might have some power here to influence others, but I don't think that this is a good idea to, um, to force anything here. So again, uh, Pisces, maybe take a, a, a small step back here or see the bigger picture. Here's for, this is for Pisces. Pisces needs to understand the needs of others. It's about the, you're balancing your own desires with the needs of others. So there might be a lack of perspective here in terms of understanding what other people need out of a situation or something you're trying to offer. All right. All right, all right. Mercury retrograde, everybody. Good freaking luck. And I'll see you on the next one.